I've got a book for you today. And before I read this book, I want you to think about something the Bible says. What's stored up in your heart is what comes out of your mouth. This book is called Words to Love By by Rick Warren, illustrated by Ag Jakowska. Words to Love By. Did you know that you have the power to change someone's life? with your words. I love you. Those are some good words. Words may be small, but words can do big things. Words can encourage and they can bring out the best in people. I believe in you. I knew you could do it. You're going to be great. Well done, you did it. You're really good at that. This is beautiful. Think how you would feel if you heard those words. Words can spread love and kindness. Do you need help? Let me help you. Please share. Thank you. And words can let others know they're not alone. These are some of my favorite words to hear on the playground. Do you want to play with us? I love it when I hear those words. Words can show respect. After you, ma'am, how thoughtful. Would you like to go first? Thank you. Those are some good respectful words. <clears throat> and words can let the world know how thankful we are. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. That makes me smile. Let's see what the words are on the card. World's best mom. Oh, I bet mom liked that card. And the hug. Words can heal. I'm sorry, I forgive you. Words can help build friendships. Those are important words. Sometimes words though are spoken in anger and unkind words are said that you don't really mean. Oh, these words aren't so good, are they? I don't like you. Why don't you leave me alone? Do you see how those words are different? So be careful with your words. Once you send your words out into the world, you cannot get them back. Remember when this boy said, why don't you leave me alone? Can he get those words back? He can't catch them with his net and bring them back, can he? He's already said them. Remember when she said, I don't like you. She can't scrub those words away. She's already said them. The words you, we use show others what's in our hearts. Remember that? What's in your heart comes out your mouth. God wants you to have a heart filled with kindness and love. He's the one that puts that in our heart. I love you. I'm glad you're in my life. You are the best. Oh, those are the kinds of words we want to hear. Words are powerful. Words should be used wisely. They can steer you in the direction you want to go. Hmm, let's see the boy in the boat. Should he go this way or that way? I bet you can see which way he needs to go. Let's see, this way the words are saying things Angry, awful, ugly, wrong, bad, mine, mean. Mm, we don't want those words. Let's see the way he should go. These words are saying, do you want to share? Nice, love, forgive, smile, kind, and like, oh, those are the words he wants to follow. Yeah, words can steer you in the right direction. If you don't like where you're going, try changing the way you talk. Mm hmm, 
thank you. I'm happy for you, special, I care. I'm grateful, love, please, change the way you're talking. And that can change a lot in your life, can't it? Sometimes it's best not to speak at all. Sometimes it's best to just listen. Did you hear that? Sometimes it's best to just listen. But always keep in mind, the words you choose today can change your life. And someone else's too. Today, I want you to put on your good listening ears and I want you to listen to the words that are being spoken around you. Some words help and some words hurt. I want you to ask Jesus to put good things into your heart so that what comes out of your heart and out your mouth are good words, words that help the people around you, words that are a blessing to others. Jesus can help you with that. Have a good day, and remember, words, words are good things that you can use to bless others. Bye-bye.